Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, here with a new series. It's going to be Dragon Age Origins. Before we get in the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications to be notified of all my videos. This series, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm not... I With the Mass Effect series, I was posting them uh, one video a week. I'm not going to do that with this one. I'm just going to post them as I go. So, um, I'm going to record an episode that I'm going to edit and then... Um, edit and then post it so um you know it'll just be up when i can get it up okay i'm not gonna have a time frame i'm not gonna have um anything like that um i do have vid iq on youtube um and it tells me the best times to publish on uh every day so i will be following that so i may have to wait until um the next day when it's the right time to post so anyway let's just get down to it we're gonna do origins i have to turn this up just a little bit no i won't okay The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all.
right, so this game has really cool graphics for as old as it is. Okay, so here we get to build our character. I'm going to be a male. And you can either be a human, an elf, or a dwarf. So I'm just going to be a human. And you get to pick either noble, ma magi, or human noble. Or no, it's warrior, mage, or rogue. Okay, okay. Uh. Okay. So we're going to do warrior. Just a... Uh, this is going to be just a, this is going to be a trial run. This series is going to be a trial run of this game. So it's been a long time since I've played it. So I do remember playing it when it first came out. And it was fun, but I played it on the 360. So, um, we'll change the hair maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that one looks cool. Beard. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. No stubble. Okay. And you know what? We won't do beard either. Because we are a noble. <laughs> The name, I'm not even going to worry about, so... So now you get to add, um, points. So, we want... Only thing I hate in this game is the damn text is so small. Do... You there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Then we get a talent, or a skill, I should say. Um, we got level two for combat training. Um, So this is combat training. Um, ooh, do, 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 I don't know what I want. Maybe tactics would make more sense. And these are the talents. Um, powerful. Which, what this one does, through training and hard work, the warriors gain greater health and reduce the fatigue penalty for wearing armor. So we'll do that one. And per precise striking. Um, the warrior tries to make each attack count, sacrificing attack speed for a bonus to attack, as well as an increased chance to score critical hits, as long as the mode is active. Um... We might do shield block because practice fighting with a shield improves the character's guard. Enemies can no longer flank the character on the shield carrying side. I mean, I, I don't know how to build these characters. I really don't. Um,
All right. And I'm just going to set it to easy because fuck it. Why not? For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. Hal, you remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. Good. She goes on about your prowess as a warrior. I think you have an admirer, young man. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Kuzland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, Half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Now I got it fixed. Now I got it fixed. Okay. For some reason, it wasn't letting me um, use the keyboard controls. Don't know why, but it just wasn't. So,
that's okay. We just fixed it. So I had to exit the game and come back in. So there we go. Oh, my lord, we were just, uh... Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. We appreciate that, my lord. Thank you. Okay. So I'm going to look around for items. Because you never know, there might be hidden items or... Something of that sort, so... Okay. And it looks like nothing. Alright, nothing's here. There you are. Your mother told me the Terran had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Okay. Good evening, my lord. Let's open up in here. I just want to see what the heck's in here. It shall be done. Nothing, 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 nothing. All right, whole lot of nothing. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Wonderful! Oh, the Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Well, records are vague, but the Kuslans became Tyrns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tourneur of High Ever since before King Kalanad united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanad to maintain High Ever's independence. Kalanad wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elathea's men were defeated, Kalanad asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. The Kuslans are ardent royalists now, but at that time, 
Kalanad was unknown, and considered dangerous by many. When Kalanad's army reached Hyever, Tierna Elethea led the local bands against him. Obviously, Kalanad won. The history between the Kuslans and the Howls reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During your grandfather's rule, of course Orle found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orle, several battles were fought near Hyever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. Its Arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orle? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. Your grandfather couldn't afford to lose Harper's Ford. In keeping the town, your family drove Orle from its lands. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion. When all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence! I will not have you two becoming smart mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Don't let myself all this one to you do this one. Okay. Now. Very well. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way! I shall do it. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the dog's name should be. Ah, uh, why not? Like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> Those were rats from the Kokari Wilds. Best not to tell Nan. 
She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Okay. Very well. But we'll take everything that's here. It shall be done. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. <sighs> Here then. Take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Okay. So we're going to go around full circle because there is one more room that we need to check out. Not this one, but we're going to go in it anyway just to see what's in here. Prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all. Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me, It is the least I could do. If the worst comes to pass, child, take comfort in knowing that the Maker's will takes many forms. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. Okay. Now we can go and do everything we need to do now. My dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled. You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. 
You remember my son, Dairon. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. All evidence to the contrary. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. I shall do it. Okay, I'm gonna just check everything out over here. Nothing. It shall be done. Very well. We're gonna check this out over here. I think it's my room, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. All right. Check. Which is locked? Okay. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find. I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. He is as mortal as anyone, despite his refusal to believe. Now, love, no need to be grim. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. <sighs> Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. Yes, <laughs> you mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Oh good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Okay. Here we go. We're moving on. Shall be done. Okay. 
Okay, let me get my weapon on. Okay. Always check your corpses because you'll get, um, you'll get loot. Damn it. Fighting outside, and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? The scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. We must find him. I am no Orlesian wallflower. Give me a sword and I'll use it. Now let's go. Damn it. This is so hard to aim for stuff. I wish you could turn off the mouse controls, you know? The for movement. There's some things here, darling. Some of your father's belongings are in that trunk. Okay. Make a dagger. Shield. There you go. Alright. Back in here. Matter of fiend slaughters innocence. How is not even taking hostages? He means to kill all of us. Oh, poor fuckers. Let's go. I don't want to see this. Nothing. All right. I shall do it. What do we got here? Oop. Yes, I know about fatigue. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right. Sure, everything. Okay, yep. All right. As you say. Oh, dear Landra. I'm, I'm so sorry. If she hadn't come to me. If she hadn't been here. Okay. Can you hear the fighting? Howl's men must be everywhere. Don't be foolish. You would throw your life away? The front gates. That's where your father must be. Listen, darling, we haven't much time. If we can't find your father, you must get out of here alive. Without you and Fergus, the entire Kusen line dies here. If Hal's men are inside, they must already control the castle. We must use the servants' entry in the larder to escape. Do you hear me? 
Then let us be swift. Hey, there is someone over here dead. Take that. Um, those gloves, are those better than what I got? Nope, they're not better than what I got. Okay. Okay. The castle has fallen. I'm getting out of here. Yes, my lord. Here, here they come. Always do your corpses. Boom. Does he live? Boo. Boo! It has begun. Dumbass. Shit. Trying to get my corpses here and they're not letting me. Boom. Knock him on his ass so we can get a few free hits on him. Okay. So I do apologize not really knowing a lot about this game. I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying. So We're getting close to the treasury. The Kuzlan family blade lies inside. Here, darling, take my key. That blade cannot fall into Hal's hands. It should sever his treacherous head. Nothing, nothing. Just in here, maybe? Yep. As you say. Alright. It is begun. Ooh, scale armor. Is it any better? Um, yes it is. That axe. Um, not any better, no. Okay, there we go. So we'll start equipping some things like the family sword, um, the scale armor, and that's it. 
Okay. Hello. Okay. Hey, man, take all your stuff. Take all your stuff. Isn't there some in here? No. Mage. Boom. Keep her from doing anything. There we go. Go. Man the gate. Keep those bastards out as long as you can. Your ladyship, my lord, you're both alive. I was certain Hell's men had gotten through. He was looking for you two. He told us to hold the hall as long as possible. When I realized what was happening, it was all I could do to shut the gates. But they won't keep Hell's men out long. If you've another way out of the castle, use it quickly. When I last saw the turn, he'd been badly wounded. I urged him not to go, but he was determined to find you. He went towards the kitchen. I believe he thought to find you at the servant's exit in the larder. Bless you, Sagoma. Make her watch over you. Make her watch over us all. Oh uh, yeah, I'm looking at all these corpses because I want either the money or the loot that they're gonna have. So just begun. There we go. Okay, here we go. I mean, I know this gets boring looking at all the corpses, but this is all the World of Warcraft I used to play back in the day. Uh, make sure I'm going the right way, which I'm not. We must not exhaust our supplies. All right, there we go. And it is in this door. Yep. Be done. There, you both are. I was... Bryce. Wondering when you would get here. Maker's blood, what's happening? You're bleeding! 
Owl's men found me first. Almost did me in right there. I... I won't survive the standing, I think. Ah. My boy. If only Will could make it so. Once Hal's men break through the gate, they will find us. We must go! Someone... must reach Burgess. Tell him what has happened. I wish I could go. Oh. Bryce, no. The servant's passage is right here. We can flee together, find you healing magic. The castle is surrounded. I cannot make it. I'm afraid the turn is correct. House men have not yet discovered this exit, but they surround the castle. Getting past will be difficult. You are Duncan, then? The Grey Warden? Yes, your ladyship. The turn and I tried to reach you sooner. My younger son helped me get here. Make her be praised. I am not surprised. I fear your thanks are premature. I doubt I have saved him. Whatever is to be done now, it must be quick. They are coming. Duncan, you are under no obligation to me. But I beg you, take my wife and son to safety. I will, your lordship. But I fear I must ask for something in return. Anything! What is happening here pales in comparison to the evil now loose in this world. I came to your castle seeking a recruit. The Darkspawn threat demands that I leave with one. I... I understand. You fought your way to me through Hal's men. I think the Maker's intention is clear. I will take the Tirner and your son to Ostagar to tell Fergus and the King what happened. Then, your son joins the Grey Wardens. So long as justice comes to Hal. I agree. Then I offer you a place within the Grey Wardens. Fight with us. We must leave quickly then. Bryce, are you... sure? Our son will not die of Hal's treachery. He will live and make his mark on the world. Darling, go with Duncan. You have a better chance to escape without me. Eleanor. Hush, Bryce. I'll kill every bastard that comes through that door to buy them time. But I won't abandon you. My place is with your father. At his side, to death and beyond. I'm so sorry it's come to this, my love. We had a good life, and did all we could. It's up to our children now. Then go, pup. Warn your brother. You know that we love you both. You do us proud. They've broken through the gates. We must go now. Goodbye, darling. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can put the po potions on the hot bar. I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan! King Kaelan, 
I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. No need, Duncan. You are Bryce's youngest, are you not? I don't think we've ever actually met. Is it about your father? Your brother has been concerned about him. Dead? What do you mean? Duncan, do you know anything about this? Terran Kuzland and his wife are dead, Your Majesty. Arl Howe has shown himself a traitor and overtaken High Ever Castle. Had we not escaped, he would have killed us and told you any story he wished. I can scarcely believe it. Well, how could he think he could get away with such treachery? As soon as we are done here, I will turn my army north and bring Howe to justice. You have my word. No doubt you wish to see your brother. Unfortunately, he and his men are scouting in the wilds. Not until the battle is over, I fear. Until then, we cannot even send word. I apologize, but there's nothing more I can do. All I can suggest is that you vent your grief against the Darkspawn for the time being. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we see no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn Horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feeling. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you are ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Your hound can stay with me while I attend to some business. The Grey Warden tent is on the other side of this bridge. You will find us there should you need to. Okay. So, I'm gonna call for this video. I mean, I'm sure this isn't very long. But like I said, I'm going to post more often, so that's going to be the trade-off. So anyway, hope you all had fun this episode. I mean, I'm sorry I don't talk much in these videos, but, you know, I have to concentrate on these games. I, I just do. I have to concentrate on them, and so then I know what I'm doing and all that stuff. So anyway, hope you all had fun. I'll see you all next video.